So welcome to another video. So today I am going to just go over how to fine tune the suspension on the Ducati Desert Sea. Okay. So at the moment, this is not stock setting. Uh, I have upgraded the front fork with the Andreani uh, Misano Evo kit. And the rear saw uh, is the Olin's uh, DU509. So it's not the stock saw. It is very important for us to adjust the suspension. So the suspension that comes from the Andriani and the Olens, they come unlocked, okay? It comes in the factory setting. So which might not be perfect for your personal riding experience and your riding style. So first thing first, what we need to understand are some of the stuff like uh, preload, Okay, if you can see that, then we have the compression and then we have the rebound. These are very important. First thing you can check is the preload, then comes the rebound and then you need to ride to figure out the compression as well. So at the moment, we also need to understand the rear, you know, suspension travel of this bike. So for the Ducati Desert Slab, it's 200 millimeters, 200 millimeters. Basically preload is uh, the amount of weight that you have on the spring. It's like, uh, you can think of it like uh, air mattress, you know? So the more air you have, the mattress is more stiff, right? And it doesn't like go down. And if the air mattress has less air, then it's going to sag all the way down. If you're sagging too much, it's not good, it's not comfortable, right? Too much air on the air mattress, then that's, again, it's going to be pretty hard and bumpy, so not good. So we want that air mattress to be one third of what the rear suspension travel is, okay? So first thing, we're going to calculate uh, the preload uh, in the stock form. Okay, so I have uh, some aluminum foil. You know, it doesn't need to be the aluminum foil tape. You can take any kind of other tapes uh, uh, that's lying around. So what I'm going to do is place it somewhere, you know, like uh, somewhere in the X. Okay, so I'm just going to measure the length from here all the way to the rear motorcycle hub. Okay, to measure the length. So this is something that I need to do. Let me put that aside by making sure the bike is, uh, you know, in a free state. There is no any kind of weights on it. So let's do that. So first thing, so you can see now the rear sock is all, uh, you know, like in a more relaxed state. So now I'm just going to measure all the way from here and here. So you can see that is about uh, so 56 centimeters at the moment. Okay. Currently we have the free travel at uh, 560 millimeters. So I'm just going to go ahead and put up the rider plus the pillion because I ride mostly two up. If you're riding single, then that's just the rider weight, including the luggage and everything. All right, let's see. Okay, so we have the rider. All right. Okay, so you can see we have the rider as well as the pillion. And now I'm just going to measure the length real quickly. So that is the free sag is equal to 560 millimeters. And when we have the rider and the pillion on top, so that is the weighted, it's about 460 millimeters. Okay. So what we need to do is calculate the amount of, you know, the sag. And that is done by the a motorcycle's uh, default travel distance of the rear suspension. So for the rear suspension, that is uh, 200 millimeters of travel. And what we want is one third of that. That is the subtraction of this. So if you subtract 560 by 460, that's about 100 millimeters. And if you take a look at the uh, suspension travel that is recommended, it comes out to be about 66 millimeters. So what comes around here is that we have 100 millimeter of you know, like the sag distance with the weight it, but we want the 66 millimeters and that's the recommended, you know, like amount of preload sag that we want. So if we take a look at it, 100 millimeters, that's a little too soft 
you know, because that's being calculated here. Our, our suspension, our rear suspension, there is a little too less of air in it, right? So that's why we have a, a greater travel distance here, uh, subtraction there. So what we want to do is make sure that it comes around this recommended target value. So for this, we need to stiffen up the suspension a little bit, fill in a little more air on it. So how do we do that? Well, right here, come over here. So on this all-in suspension that you have, this is the DU509, uh, that is uh, for the Ducati Desert Sled. So some other suspension, they have like a hydraulic adjustment for the preload, but this one you need this C-spanner. And uh, let me go ahead and unlock this real quickly. So to unlock it, you just need to go ahead and twist it anti-clockwise on the rear one. Just go ahead and unlock that. And to stiffen up the suspension so that we can come around that target sag, uh, we need to stiffen it up. And to stiffen it up, it's a clockwise rotation on this one. So we just go ahead and bring this up like so. All right. So what we are doing here is essentially filling more air on the mattress so that we're adding more preload on the spring. Minus 66, and that is going to be, so that's 494 millimeters. That's what we want the travel distance to be. That is recommended, so we want it to be around that ballpark. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can see, I hold it right there, and if we travel and measure the distance, like so. So you are coming around at it's 49 centimeters of travel, so 49 centimeters. So what is that means? That is about 490 millimeters. So that's around the ballpark of what we want to be the recommended preload. So we are done. That's correct. So let's go ahead and tighten up that suspension real quickly. So now that we have set the preload adjustment, uh, it's now ready for the road and recommended. So I'm just going to stick, lock it and rotate this clockwise to tighten it, like so. That's it, there you go. That's it, that's all you need to do. So there you go, that's done. The preload is set for this bike, with a rider and a pillion. So once again, like I said, if you're riding along, then that's your wheel. If you're riding two up, that's going to be you and your pillion, including the luggage, if you're carrying all the weight, including the fuel as well, you know, to set the preload. Now, now that we have adjusted the preload, it comes to rebound adjustment. Okay, so once the preload has been set, we do the same thing for the rebound adjustment. So if you take a look at it, this is the rebound adjustment, and this is the preload, uh, the compression. Okay, so we for the compression adjustment, I need to go ahead and take on a ride for that, but rebound is something that you can fix, you know, like have the bike in the default static position. So what we want to do is make sure to unlock the rebound damping. What is rebound damping is basically when the spring compresses, it releases as well and that sudden force of release uh, how much damping you want of the release of that spring that's controlled by the rebound very important put it all the way so by, by default the factory setting you know you have this rebound it's going to compress like so so there is clicks all the way going in like this so this means your clock is you rotate it this way it's going to stiffen up the damping so it's restricting the flow of oil so making the damping a little bit too st stiff and if you're going to release it, click like so, all the way out. And that means the needle is all the way out. So that means there is more oil passing in. So to decrease the damping that is, right? So there is going to be, what do we expect on this? So let me just go ahead and show you. So now I have unlocked uh, the rebound. So it's, you know, like, like so, the oil is passing in greatly. So that means this, there, there is less damping going on, right? So if you take a look at it, I put, make sure the bike is in the gear position, and go ahead and really quickly, I'm just going to push it down and release it all the way. So you can see, there is a little bit of up and down going on. This is because there is less damping going on. See, there's a, it's a lot softer. There you go. So what we want to make sure, is when the rebound, when the, there is a compression going on, when it comes out, you want it to be settling into that position quickly. Not much of a, like so. Because if that is going to happen on the road, you know, this motorcycle is going to hit multiple potholes uh, on the gravel, on the off-roading, you know. So, so there will be less damping, that means less suspension travel, and the shock is going to be 
not doing a great job of like uh, absorbing all the potholes and stuff like that. So what we want to make sure is that we adjust the rebound, make it a little bit more stiff, so that it settles into that uh, position real quickly. So settle, not too stiff, just a little bit of travel, like so. So to stiffen it up, I'm just going to go ahead and click it. So try to remember the number of clicks that you have. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's say I'm going to keep it ten, okay? And see how it's it's behaving right now. So let's see the difference that it makes. So I'm just going to put it like this, really quickly, push it all the way. Because I have adjusted the preload for two up waiting, it's going to be a little too stiff. So you can see, it now settles a little too less. It's not bouncing much, right? So I think I'm happy with this setting. So that's how you set the adjustment. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just pushing the bike on my own way. But what you need to really try it out is take it on the road, go up and down the mountain, on the highways. So whether you're riding alone, you're riding with a pigeon, with all the luggage and everything, go ahead, test it out on the road, and uh, play around with the rebound and the compression setting uh, to better suit you. So the idea is to make sure that the bike is handling well, the bike is accelerating well, it's not tipping when you're braking, and uh, you know, you're getting a much better comfortable ride. So that's something that is uh, hold in suspense. Now I would like to talk about the Andriani fork that we have here. Right? So this is the front suspension and it's the same thing as uh, what we have talked about on the rear suspension. So this is the owner's manual that we have with the Andriani kit. And uh, make sure you have this handy because it goes over all the settings that you have. And again, so if you take a look at it, the Andriani suspension, it comes with a fully adjustable sock as well. So you have the, comp the preload adjustment here. Uh, the rebound adjustment, which you can see it's shown as R. And on the other side, there is the compression adjustment. So just like the rear saw, you can adjust that for your liking. But there's a little difference, you know, how I like to do it. You know, I, basically what I do is, uh, you can see in here, for the preload, what I've done is that I have the zip ties. So I just go ahead and tie that up like so. Okay, and then once you've done that, you go ahead and put the all the way up and you go take a ride you know uh, go for an adventure uh, take a multiple day out ride the motorcycle uh, go up the mountain down the mountain on the gravel dirt road all kind of road that you're gonna travel you will see that this zip tie will come down you know uh, to a certain distance like I can show you right now so like I said hold the brake and uh, let me put that on this hand so you can see Put as much force as you want. There you go. And you can see the zip tie, it's uh, coming up to that distance. So, what we want to do is uh, when you're riding up the mountain on the road, riding too up, it's going to greatly impact, right? This is going to go all the way down. Uh, you can see how this zip tie is coming down. We want to make sure that the zip tie is uh, about one inch, one inch, let's say one and a half inch or one inch up from the bottom end of this fork. Okay, so we want to make sure that it's coming all the way down like this. When you're riding this motorcycle, you want to make sure that this zip tie always, you know, it's the maximum that it travels is up to there. You don't want to, it to go all the way down like this. And that means you're bottoming out. You know, your suspension doesn't have enough travel. It's too soft. The preload is too soft. It's bottoming out and you're going to notice that on the pumps. Bam, bam, like that. So you want to, if it is all the way up like this, if it all the way up like this, you know, it's, it's not traveling much. So just this distance, that is how much the suspension is working its way. So it's too stiff. The preload is too stiff. You need to loosen it up. So the idea is to have this, make sure that, you know, if you do a whole day of riding up the mountain, gravel road, dirt road, all kind of terrains, make sure that it, we have that much amount of uh, travel left and that's the perfect stiff uh, pillow setting that I found uh, you know to be on, the, on this motorcycle on any motorcycle that has uh, adjustable suspension okay so uh, like I said 
Let me go ahead and experiment that again. So what we see here is that's the travel distance. It's too stiff at the moment. So to loosen it up, you can go ahead. I have this wrench, adjustable wrench. So let me just go ahead and unlock it all the way to make it soft. And you do the same thing on the other side, unlock it by rotating it counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. And this means we are softening the window. Unlock it all the way out. You can see that's the distance that we have, right, with the uh, pillow. Now it should go further down because the pillow is much less stiff. So we are softening it up. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see that this zip tie has come all the way down from that distance to this distance. So with me, with my hand force alone, uh, you know, it's coming all the way down there. But to better assume the position of this zip tie, you need to take a day trip, uh, take a mountain road, gravel road, dirt road, any kind of road, and uh, see how far this goes. Like I said, if it goes all the way down, the fork is bottoming, so you need to stiffen up the preload. If it is all the way up like this, the suspension is too stiff, so it's not traveling. So that's how I make the adjustment. Just like the rear suspension, how we can adjust the rebound and compression on this as well. So for this fork uh, as well, just like the rear suspension, we can adjust the rebound uh, with this Allen wrench. So you put it in there, like so. And like I said, the anti-clockwise is softening it up, uh, clockwise is stiffening it up. So if I just put it all the way like this, this rebound is too soft now. So that means you're gonna see a lot of up and down movement, bouncing around. Push and release, like so. So based on that, again, just like the rear suspension, we want the rebound to be acting, compressed, comes back and settles. Comes back and settles. We don't want like so. That's going to be too much soft. So basically, you just go ahead and rotate it clockwise, like so. So it's just that there is no clicks on this fork. So you just assume it and find a good position and try to play around with the suspension. So you can see now it comes to damping position. And settles much quicker. That's how you adjust the rear sock and the front suspension. So it's something that you can do with the stock setting stock bikes as well, with the digital sled or any other motorcycle that you have, which has the adjustment included for preload, compression, rebound. Some bike doesn't have that, some bike has, does have that. If your bike has those settings, play around with those values and uh, it's going to make a big difference on the right characteristic of this motorcycle. So yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.